Oh, hello there. And welcome to this try on haul. I will talk a lot in this video, so let's just get right into it. First off, this beautiful v-neck sweater, and yes, the color is called hummus, which I love very much. All in all, I really liked the fit, and it was really comfortable and soft, but um, I didn't keep it as I wanted something more form-fitting. Next, we have this Uniqlo v-neck sweater, and as you will see, I tried on a lot of those. And the fabric wasn't uncomfortable, but it wasn't that cozy, cuddly, fuzzy, warm feeling I was looking for either. Um, the fabric was more like dense, I don't know how else to describe it. And I mean, I need that, especially as a Frostbeule in Germany where it gets like minus 18 degrees Celsius. I also got this one in large, but it was still not as comfortable and what I was looking for either. And next up, oh, I love this shirt so much, oh my god. And this is actually exactly the kind of shirt I was looking for for years because I feel like they're always kind of low quality and see-through. And I have never owned a nice fitted basic white tee and this is exactly what I was looking for. High quality and not too expensive. Oh boy, now onto the 15 turtlenecks. First of all, we have this white one. Maybe you can tell how comfy it was and how comfortable I felt in it and how much I liked it in general. I actually already wore it with a light sweater in German autumn weather. And believe me when I say I was not cold for two seconds. The only reoccurring theme with these turtlenecks is that my monkey arms are a bit too long, which makes wearing them a little bit less comfortable. After that, I tried on the body, which was very comfortable as well. It was just a little struggle to close it, so yeah. Also heat tag, also very cozy and warm. Next off, these linen pants. <sighs> I was so excited for these because they were only 10 euros in the final sale and the coat was super nice and I wanted a pair for so long. But you know, sometimes I like to keep my booty to myself on only special selected people. So I didn't keep these. This light heat tech turtleneck I got in S and XS and it was so comfortable, especially around the neck. So I highly recommend this if you are looking for a turtleneck but don't like the feeling of suffocation some provide. Then I tried on another cozy kind of heat tech turtleneck, which was also very nice, but I just didn't like the fit around the neck as much and it was a little tight in general. Quick disclaimer though, I didn't know this before, maybe there's more of you. You cannot return these because they fall in the category of underwear. Because you are supposed to wear them under your clothes. And I'm currently trying to give them to friends because I sure as hell don't need six turtlenecks. After wanting a beret for the longest time I thought, why not try it on at home where no one can see you if you look ridiculous trying it on. And then I filmed a video trying it on, so yeah. I don't know why, but I kept turning myself into an elf and I didn't keep it. I still want one though and I actually really like the quality a lot, so if it suits you, I would recommend this one. The following two sweaters were all in all really comfortable and fit me very nicely actually, but I have to say the fabric wasn't the softest and as I said before, I was looking for a cuddly, comfy, fuzzy warm. And as I love a nice French tuck, I tried to do the same with this one, but yeah, it was kind of short. And I really like that you could also wear this as a top without wearing anything underneath. Also, the dark gray color was right up my alley. Oh, I love it so much. But as the frostboiler that I am, they were just too short. And as I don't have the someone, I need the something to keep my booty warm, you know? Also, the first person to guess all five songs I was jamming to will get a free banana bread made by me. This jacket. Ooh, this jacket. Oh, you can tell from my face, I loved it. It felt so nice that I actually thought it was real leather and it fits so nicely, but sadly it was also just a bit too short, which is why my search for the perfect faux leather jacket will continue for now. I 
I struggled a lot with this jacket. I found the flapping very amusing, but it was a little bit uncomfortable. It didn't have pockets I could put my hands into and I couldn't close it properly for some reason. We just weren't meant to be. Don't get me wrong though, it was still a nice jacket, but it just wasn't for me. Lastly, the boots. These were so nice and it took me the longest time to decide whether to keep these or not. But I decided to return these because my feet can look kind of big in comparison to the rest of my frame. And pointy shoes kind of emphasize that. Next up we have these high heel boots and I was so intrigued by how elegant and high quality these looked but sadly they were quite uncomfortable and as the second priciest item not worth the pain in my opinion. The second to last item were these boots and they were so cute. I don't know if you can see it but the stitches were rainbow and it's such a nice little detail. I also really like the cut and the buckles but I don't think platform shoes suit me that well and I actually rather wanted to keep the next item which were <sighs> Doc Martens! Yes, after four years I finally got my first pair of freaking Doc Martens. The reason I never got a pair is that because of my huge feet I always looked like Pennywise. And with the backs it's not that much of an issue because they have a bit of a platform and zippers that distract from the size of my feet. <laughs> if you made it this far through the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope that maybe you also found something that you like. I think those are really nice pieces. I did a great job on selecting those pieces. I have been working on some other videos too, so if you'd like to see them, subscribe. Maybe tell me which pieces you like the most because I definitely can't choose because it's just so many great things I tried on today. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you liked it, maybe like it. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. I like honest feedback, man. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. This is my heart. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.